Carl says, welcome to his garage. <laughs> now, yesterday I knew I was gonna get a lot of parts for the project daily today, so I took some time to clean the garage and maybe my race car, because they were both pretty nasty. We gotta put the suspension back in the race car. So I shipped it off a couple weeks ago to get it rebuilt and freshened up for the season. And I just got it back today. So we're gonna put those in. So I get a lot of questions about what coilovers I have. So just in case you guys wanna know, I have a type 25 inverted coilover by Man Engineering. Um, I hadn't rebuilt them in about two years, so they were starting to look a little scary. Remember in our last episode, we talked about how we're gonna show you how to turn your no frills daily into a fun weekend warrior? Well, thanks to our friends over at Cobb, we got the goods. So now that we've unboxed all our goodies and ready for install, I think you might wanna see the car we're actually putting this stuff on. It's my 2017 SCI. I'll take that back. It's not totally stock. I do have one part and that's from TurboSmart. And, and by the way, if you're not running turbo smart, you're not being smart. As you can see, it's totally stock. Stock wheels, stock tires, stock brake pads, which by the way, I'm pretty sure they only have like one mil left on the brake pads. I'm two track days on these brake pads and they're pretty done. So that's definitely something we're gonna be fixing later, but that's for another episode. So stay tuned. Look at that nastiness. Stock air box. Not to mention my engine bay is quite disgusting. Sorry guys. But anyway, we're gonna get rid of all this mess. I'm gonna put all this awesomeness in. And thanks to Cobb, they make it so easy. Look, we even get all the hardware. Literally, they give you everything to complete the job. So we got the old intake out. It's out of there. And now it's time for the new intake. But before we do that, we gotta put the box in. So they gave us these trim pieces. And you're probably thinking, what the heck do I do with those? Don't trip, check the website. It's got some really good pointers, like how to install these around the edges, where to cut them, so it makes a fantastic seal. So you don't have any warm air from the engine bay getting into your cold air box. Also, it goes around here to protect the intake from rubbing through. So the website's got some really great tips, check it out. So we got the intake and the intake box installed. It looks so nice. One thing I like about Cobb products is they make everything with a fit and finish so there's no like nasty bolts or washers hanging out. Everything is colored to match. Super stoked to have this in the car. My cable, I got my access port. My cable's connected to my OBE2 port. I'm going to connect them two together. Like boom. And stuff is gonna come on the screen and then we're gonna follow the instructions. Oh. Matt chain successful. We're ready to roll. Literally. <laughs> My name is Carl, and I'm gonna install the exhaust tonight. <laughs> but anyway, I am super stoked to get this Cobb exhaust on the car because I haven't had an exhaust on a daily driver since like 2012. I've had multiple Subarus and stuff in between, but none of them really had any exhaust and they didn't have like that Subaru rumble. Like I had a 2006 Legacy GT and it was all stanced out and lowered, but it didn't have an exhaust and it was super quiet. And I had a 2015 WRX, 
But it was also stuck and super quiet. So I'm super stoked to get the Subaru Rumble. So let's get this bad boy on here. And for all you who think that I don't get dirty, well, I do. All right, everybody, it's installed, it's on the car, it's ready to go, it looks fantastic. I no longer have dirt all over me and on my face. I cut my finger, let's check it out. Got the mufflers that has the embossed cob logo on it. The stainless steel piping is really fantastic. The welds look great. This is all around a fantastic piece. We need to wipe everything down, make sure there's no grease or grime or fingerprints on anything because we don't want to get that baked on later. So we all know the sock exhaust is super quiet and you can barely hear it and when you drive by it sounds like whooshing air. Well, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison with the sock exhaust and the cob exhaust. Did we even have the car on? I couldn't hear it. <laughs> so I wanna take a minute and talk about my shirt. Um, this shirt is actually by Moto Lyric, and just in case you see this and you think it's pretty cool, is just track it, which is pretty cool because that's all about what we're trying to do with this car is be a fun weekend track warrior. So check them out, motolyric.com. You can get all their stuff. They have multiple shirts all about tracking and motorsports. Thanks for watching our first official vlog of Diaries of a Female Racer. Now next time, we're gonna be doing some brake upgrades, suspension, and some wheels. Now we are gonna be doing some events this weekend, so I'll try to throw that in the mix too. See you next time.